What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? Today, I've got a really cool explorer for you guys. I've got an old wartime home built in the late 1930s, early 1940s. The place I'm talking about is this place right here behind me. I think this is gonna be a really, really cool place to get into, and I can't wait to show it to you. Before we get in there, I just wanna let you guys know, I kept referring to this place as abandoned for about four years throughout the video. I just re-recorded the intro today because I talked to the neighbor next door. I found out this place was abandoned around 2010 because both of the owners had passed away. Um, the only reason that it looked like there was activity here in the last four years is because the son still was kind of keeping an eye on the place and he kept some boats here and moved them around. But uh, he hasn't been around in about four years now and the place is, uh, well, I won't spoil it for you. Let's get inside and you guys can see what happened. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start the adventure outside, take a quick look around, and then I think we'll work our way inside and see what we can figure out about this place. Right away, just from looking at the place, you can tell it's been sitting for a few years. Now, I was here last week with somebody else, so I did do a little research before I came back, and to me, it looks like this place was abandoned sometime in 2020. So you can see the place is a little worse for wear already and it's on a very, very large property for this area. We're in the middle of a city area. A lot of the lots around here are much smaller these days typically now. But this one here is quite large, reminiscent of the old days. So this is kind of cool here. First of all, look at that tree. <laughs> it's really big, it's really thick. Look at this, we've got some vintage skis just sitting out here. That's pretty neat. We have an old garage here, which I guess was uh, torn down at some point or kind of fell in or something. It's pretty cool though. You can see that they had a, uh, a stove in the back of the garage as there's a chimney and an exhaust port there. That's pretty neat. It would have been a cool spot to work at one point in time. And as you can see, they had the barn door doors on the front from the way the hinges look. So that's pretty cool. Again, here's the place we're going to go into today. It's a small wartime looking home. I believe it was built in the 30s, maybe the 40s. We'll try to figure it out when we're inside if we can. It's an interesting little place. I've had my eye on this one for a while now and finally had the courage to check it out when I was out exploring with somebody last week. And uh, we were pleasantly surprised and uh, I just had to come back and show this one to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's a cool one. Again, we're gonna look down the property there that goes to the backyard. And this is the garage from the other side. So this is the front of the house here. They got a modest porch going into their modest home. It's a smaller home, reminiscent of the times, of course. Wow, look at the algae on that. Absolutely stained up. It's hard to believe it's only been a few years though. The siding is in pretty rough shape. You got the remnants of a pitchfork and a rake. Oh look, they even have the uh, milk delivery portal there. That's pretty cool. But this is a look at their backyard. Obviously it's a little grown in, but uh, it would have been very nice and secluded at one point in time. I believe there's a ravine running back there. So just a nice little spot. Actually, I believe there is. I think I can see it. 
We got a nice picnic table there too. It's pretty cool. Nice little location. Let's see if there is a ravine. Yeah, there is. Well, that's pretty cool. So they got a little bridge crossing it. It's pretty neat. But yeah. That's the place there. Looks very similar from behind as it does out front. But I don't think we should dilly dally any longer. I think we should get inside and see what we can figure out about this place. All right, so we're inside the back of the house now. And I can see right from where we are right here. We've got two directions to go. We've got upstairs into the actual house. And we've got down here, down into the basement. So obviously we're gonna do what we usually do. And we'll work our way through the house and see what we can figure out. And then we'll check out the basement last. That's pretty cool right there. It looks like it's a, uh, a saw table or something like that. It's actually still there in the box. That's pretty cool. So this room here looks like it's an add-on to the original house. As you can see, you've got the old siding here. It's pretty crazy though. There's actually a hole in the ceiling here. And you got some pretty old windows. So if this was an add-on actually, this would have been a fairly long time ago because I believe this is a wartime home, probably built sometime in the 30s or maybe 40s at the latest. That's pretty cool. You got an old lantern there. Surprised to see that left behind here. You don't see those very often. You got a toolbox there that's, well, it's not really filled with anything. That's a pretty cool door. I don't think that's a super modern door. But it's probably no newer or older than the 70s or 80s. That actually looks like it might have been a milkman bot or a delivery box there. So maybe this was part of the house originally. Maybe it's just the way they designed it. It's also a very cool light up there they've got hanging. But yeah, let's work our way in. These stairs don't look too rough. So right away I noticed the flooring might be that asbestos tiling. So that's a little bit uh, unnerving, but everything looks to be in good shape. Except for, well, <laughs> the ceiling, as I say that. It's a pretty old light there hanging in the kitchen. Oh, well, they even still have a picture hanging on the wall. That was pretty cool. I don't know if there's a lot left behind here. Got a filing cabinet in here. It's empty. That's kind of cool. Anything in the cupboards? No. Maybe a nest. Look at that old sink. That's pretty cool. I bet you Tommy and John will appreciate this. Wow. That's a very old sink, and I love that faucet with the, uh, the, the uh, soap holder on top. That's pretty crazy. Another cool thing, and I've seen these before in my lifetime. It's the old school Coke glass. Oh, even that, that's pretty cool too. They have the can opener still mounted on the wall. That's an older looking door. It's obviously quite moldy. From the looks of things, not too many people have been in this place. Got a lot of paint peel and decay in here. Look at this. Wow. That looks like an old steering. Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. Got the remnants of a steering wheel and a dash from a car. I'm not sure what kind of car this is. I'm sure one of you guys will be able to tell me though. So if you know, let me know in the comments. Surprisingly enough, even though it's a little place, they've got a nice little chair rail going around the kitchen. They got some interesting moldings going around the doors too. 
Those are pretty cool. See that? It's got a nice little beveled edge on the side there. But yeah, if I look around, chair rail goes around the entire room. It's nice and tidy. Interestingly, they still have the kitchen chairs here. But look at that, yeah. There's a beer here from... I don't know when it's from. Actually, it's not full. That's weird. Someone probably put the cap back on. You got a lot of insulation on the floor. Hopefully this uh, isn't the asbestos insulation. I have a feeling it might be. It's a really cool red kettle there. We got a couple of mugs and things left behind here. Again, like I said, it looks like this place has been relatively untouched and unvisited for the time it's been abandoned. It's pretty moldy and spotty in here, and there's a lot of decay. Look at those curtains. Looks like a grandparent's house, doesn't it? All right, well, let's work our way this way first. Look at that toilet. I don't have my glasses on me today, so I can't tell you if that's pink or taupe or tan. I don't know. It's an interesting looking toilet though. And for the people that need to know, it's actually clean. The brown bomber hasn't been in this place. And you got a dead mouse there. So you got a lot of rat turds in here. It's also an older looking tub that matches the color of the toilet. Oh, look at those coverts. Those are pretty crazy. I'm not sure what era these would be from. Let's see if there's anything inside. No. That's a cool little caddy there, though, a storage caddy. I'm not sure when those are from. They almost look like they could be 70s type cupboards. I mean, the sink could easily be 60s or 70s. It's that seashell design, but the color of it kind of makes me wonder when it's from. The other cool thing in here, look at that cool bathroom light. Kind of like a chandelier hanging in front of the mirror. Now they still have the curtain on the shower, which is cool. It happens to match in the curtain on the window. Everything in here doesn't look too bad. It's probably because from what I could see, this place was only abandoned about three and a half years ago. So it's kind of hard to believe there's so much decay in the other rooms. Interesting little ledge there in the shower. Yeah, that tile work's kind of dated looking too, isn't it? That's probably your 60s or 70s type of tile, I would guess. And those faucets, they would probably look like they're from the 60s or so. I'm sure you guys will correct me on that if I'm wrong. Oh look, they still even have the toilet paper here. It's pretty crazy. Let's continue right this way. What do we got in here? Is this like a laundry room? Yeah, it kind of looks like it is. Look at those baby blue curtains. <laughs> Some people might appreciate that. I don't. Again, ceiling's in terrible shape here. Look at that hole. The amount of decay in this place is absolutely crazy, considering it's only been a few years. It's a cool wall sconce there, but obviously they only put a little ugly light bulb, so it takes away some points. We got a long mirror in here, so maybe people used to get ready in here. I mean, they have shelving. I'm not sure what the shelving was for. It doesn't look like it's set up as a laundry room, though, interestingly enough, so I'm not sure what this room is. Okay, so that room we can get into two ways. We'll go the other way. So let's go back out to the kitchen here. You know, it's a fairly small kitchen, but you know, like, like I said outside, it's a fairly modestly sized house. Still a cool place though. Take a look at that picture. It's an old house. It's pretty cool. Wonder where that's from. 
So I've noticed there's a couple covers on the walls. There's one there, there's one there. Obviously at some point this place had a, a stove heat in the whole house. Now it probably has a furnace. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this room. It's pretty badly decayed. Holy crap. What's crazy though is the, the furniture is still here. Still got the couch. With the pillows. You got the chair over there with the pillows. It's a pretty old looking door. That's probably a 40s door, I would think. Wow, you got that chair there too. The amount of decaying here is just crazy though. Look at the insulation, it's just all coming down. Look at that, you can see out the ceiling there, right outside. I'm not sure if this has, uh, if that's Artex in the ceiling or not, so I'm a little nervous about what might be in the ceiling, but we won't disturb anything, we'll be okay. Still have flower decoration up on the wall there. It's definitely looking like it was an older person's house. The lamps there, it's pretty crazy, wow. Okay, let's go this way. So this must be a bedroom. Yeah, it is a bedroom. At least I think it is. Again, the decaying here is pretty bad. Looks like at one point they tried to stop it with the uh, plywood, but as you see over here, no such luck. It's completely come down. Everything is now on the floor. Got insulation and just debris everywhere, unfortunately. Pretty crazy uh, decay though on the walls. Look at that paint peel. It's just lifting in solid sections. Wow. Obviously everything in here is plaster. And it is an older house. I mean, look at those baseboards. They are pretty tall. Not tall like an early 1900s house, but I'm starting to think this is late 30s, early 40s. And just to show you guys, this door comes back out to the room we were just in over here. Not a whole lot to see in here. You know what though? Oh, that's not fly tape, but they did try to seal that with masking tape. I thought for a second they were hanging fly tape, which would be weird because that would suggest that people are still staying in that room after putting that up on the ceiling. <laughs> Thank God they're not. So just looking back out at the living room again. Again, take that in. It's just crazy to see. I mean, it's really crazy to see the furniture still sitting here. But that decay is just nuts. It's also pretty cool. I didn't notice before. They still have the, uh, the light fixture in the living room too. Pretty neat. All right, let's work our way through. The carpet color is pretty, uh, pretty dated too, wouldn't you say guys? Probably a good indication of how old the place is. Look at that couch. It's definitely been sitting like this for quite some time. Stuff all over the floor is just crazy. You got the light there. It's nuts. And again, I'll just show you guys the door hardware. I know this hardware could probably go right back to the 1800s, but it's a good indication the door is pretty old, I would think. Those curtains are obviously pretty old too. I'd say those are like 60s or 50s curtains. More plaster cracking over there. It's just crazy. Again, I got to point out the moldings. Very cool moldings around the opening here. There's another chandelier type of light. Interesting. Very similar to the one in the family room. What do they got here? All right. We got a miter saw. Is there anything in here? No. It's very light. Unfortunately, there's nothing there. Got a pretty old looking dresser left behind. Well, that's cool. Got a little shelf for knickknacks in the corner of the room. Nice. 
97. Hmm. Curtains in this room are similar to the family room. And the window is actually original too, which is cool. If you look over here, this is a newer window. Again, look at the decay. Just crazy to see that. Ceiling is coming in everywhere. Oh, we got a dresser here. Oh, wow. Nothing in there. No. Is there anything in the dresser? Oh, it's swollen. Okay, that's not opening. It's a pretty cool dresser, though. I like how it's got the mirror on it, too. And, of course, this is looking back into the family room from this side here. Again, look at that ceiling. <laughs> it's just crazy. Pretty crazy. Oh, look, they even got their fishing rods still here. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, there's a lure on the wall and everything. You got another knickknack shelf there. Oh, well, they got a Sony Explode uh, car stereo, so that's, that's, you know, 20 years old. <laughs> Somewhat recent, I guess. All right, let's go this way. So now this is the other end of the hall from the kitchen here. That's the kitchen. It's a pretty old thermostat. That's pretty cool, Honeywell thermostat. And again, as we look up, more decay, just crazy decay here. Really sad to see, unfortunately. We've got an interesting, uh, we've got an interesting looking closet here. Right at the end of the hallway, very tight. Have some gloves left. They're even getting moldy, look at that. Those are matches left behind, wow. That's cool. Interesting little makeshift closet though. There's not too much storage in this house, so that's probably pretty valuable, I would think. Okay. Then we got this very decayed looking room here. Looks like someone spray painted at some point or something. I don't think that's decay. Yeah, look at that, that's paint for sure. <laughs> okay, so there's a little vandalism in this room, it would appear. But again, you have some pretty crazy decay up there. You got some black mold starting over there. That's a cool wall sconce. And if you look at the flooring in here, very reminiscent of flooring you might see from anywhere from the 40s to the 60s, I would think. It's pretty nice flooring. Unfortunately, it's all destroyed. Water really took a toll on this room. Let me just show you guys this desk from here. It's crazy. Wonder if this desk drawer will open. Probably not, let's see. No, it's pretty swollen shut. Pretty cool desk drawer handles though. So this is a pretty cool old desk, I would say. Tell me, how old is it? And if you look around here, yeah, that's another original window to the house. It's pretty cool. That decay though, wow, that is just crazy. Stuff is coming down everywhere. All right, so I guess we'll work our way this way now and check out the basement and wrap this one up. It's not a super long one like I told you guys. Just a cool little place that I've been keeping an eye on for a while that's finally open. I hope you guys are enjoying this little journey with me. I did come here last week, so I knew it was open. I really liked it, and I came back today to show you guys. It was a pretty cool adventure last week, too. All right, so here we go to the basement. Oh, wow. It's a pretty big basement. Huh. 
What's this? This pictorial family Bible. Wow, it's falling apart though, so I won't mess with it. It's a pretty cool little bench there they made. You know, I like that wall. It's all like timber or barn wood and they made some shelves and everything. It's pretty cool. Take a look in here. I don't know, before we do, what we got in here? Well, it looks like we just got cold storage in here. Nothing left behind. Ah, okay, this is the laundry room. Interesting little laundry room. We got a little tea table down here, yeah. I don't know if that's a tea table, but it's, it's some kind of a rolling desk. But yeah, this was the laundry room. They have the dryer vent there. You get the plumbing and all the water here. You even got an original window still going outside. That's pretty cool. Neat. So this basement looks somewhat modern with the uh, cinder block, but then you've got this brick wall on the outside, which makes me think that this house probably is slightly older than the 50s. So I I'm, I'm gonna think this house was probably built in the 40s sometimes. I'll let you guys decide. It's kind of hard to pinpoint it, but the signs seem to be there. It's a pretty cool dresser left behind. That's cool, what's in here? Oh, all the doors seem to be swollen shut. Oh yeah, it's pretty in bad shape. So I don't think we'll be able to get it open. No. Still, it's a very cool dresser. How old do you guys think this thing is? Let's go this way. Looks like we got another lantern there, or a piece of a lantern. Paint, oh, look at that. They got some cool old Coke stuff. And Hires root beer, wow. Look at all the old bottles. That's very cool. We got an old tool there. Oh, they got more here too. That's pretty cool. Coke stuff is uh, pretty fascinating to me. I like the old school Coke stuff. So there's your furnace. Remember upstairs I was mentioning they looked like they had stoves at one point heating the house. Well, at some point they modernized the house. And this is the furnace they got. And right there, you can see, looks like it was put in October 17th, 1985. It's even got a humidifier. <laughs> Pretty fancy for the time. So up here on this desk here, it looks like they've just got a lot of paint for the house. Makes sense, you know, you come down to a room like this, they're just gonna have that kind of stuff sitting around. Got some old Laura Secord chocolate though. Oh, look. And then we got some more pop there. Those are seven up bottles, that's pretty cool. Wow. I like the old pop stuff. I think that's pretty neat. That looks like it's a spark guard for a fireplace or something. It's pretty big though. Look at that sink. Wow. Unfortunately, there's a dead bird in it. But that is a really, really cool old school sink. It's pretty small too. And of course, it's sitting right beside <laughs> an original window. And wow, even though this is brickwork for the basement, they have coining above the windows. I'm just noticing this now. Yeah, even over there. Wow. That's pretty cool. All the copper is still here, which is crazy. Here they have a cool little workstation. They have some pipes and some tools left behind. That's cool. They got hammers and whatnot. Oh, booze bottles. <laughs> oh, it looks like that's an oil can too, or an oil. Yeah, that is. I believe that's what that is. Uh, 
That's pretty cool too. Christmas cards, looks like they're not signed. No, nope, they're all just new. They got electric makeup mirror, that's cool. Oh wow, look at this old uh, fuse box. All old fuses, pretty clean looking too, that's pretty cool. So down here, they just got some more storage. That looks like an old stove or something there. That's pretty cool. But of course, again, you can see the piping for the stove here and here. Looks like there was a water heater that's gone. Oh, okay, and there it is too, the, the place to clean out the chimney. Okay, so yeah, they must have had a stove down here heating the whole house at one point in time. Pretty cool. All right, so there's one more room left over here. Hopefully this is the coolest one. Whoops. I like that. I like the double French doors going into the room. What do we got down here? Oh, wow. So we got the basement hangout room, the rec room, the family room, the entertainment place. This is pretty cool. Wow. I love the old school fireplace here. Look at that bricked wall. It's even got the heat circulation fans. So you got two down there below. And you got the two on the top there. It's pretty cool. I like the old school milk jug too. That's pretty neat. Even that. That's cool. Oh, look at that old radio. Werner would like this. It's not a tube radio, but that's still pretty cool. At least I think it's a radio. Oh yeah, it's an alarm clock. That's pretty cool. It's an interesting little room down here we found. We got some matches, lighter, still stuff down here to light fires. <laughs> Pheasant, there's a couple knickknacks on the floor. It's cool that they have this uh, little shelf along the side of the wall here. It's pretty neat. And if you go around the room, it actually goes all the way around. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks like there's a bunch of kids stuff and I don't know, just random items. Oh, wow. We got a shotgun shell. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Obviously, a lot of animals have been stashing down here. There's a lot of walnuts and acorns and stuff like that. But again, it's a pretty cool room, although it's getting pretty rough. Look at all that mold in the wall. It's getting pretty nasty. Interesting vase. You get some beer mugs. There's another table with a oil lamp. That's pretty cool. Wow. Very moldy though. Like look around the ceiling here. The trim's getting molding on the wood. Look at that over there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's gross. It's a pretty cool table though. I didn't really show that before. Look at that ashtray. <laughs> There's something you just don't see in homes anymore. That thing should be in a hotel, not a home. Wow. This is a huge basement. That's an interesting lighter, candle holder. There's some interesting things left behind down here. They've got some drinking glasses. They still have some booze. Look at this. Wow. That's wild. That is so wild. I 
Try not to break anything. Look at that, you got some magazine stands and tables. They still have a doodling game. <laughs> Look at that, they have bottle openers and can openers, that's cool. Very old school Christmas light or Christmas tree. I'm sure many people have seen these, I had these growing up too. But the real cool thing down here, which I wanted to show you guys, which is probably why I came back really, is this old propeller. Now it's actually a real airplane propeller from what I can tell. It's even a serial number there. It's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like this before. It's kind of hard to believe that this was just left behind here. Just to show you guys. There's the badge for the propeller company. It's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool find in this house. Oh, I still have that up on the wall too. But yeah, you can definitely see this place has definitely had better days. This was probably the hangout room. There's a lot of booze and old, and like these are not new bottles. Like that Seagram's is an old bottle. This is definitely where the partying and the boozing happened. And probably a lot of good memories happened. Still have a wreath up there too. Oh look, they got a couple of records too. Didn't see that. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Oh, look at that. They got a Superman. Yeah, there's a book about Superman. There's Couple of things left behind here. What are these? Photo. That one's numbered. Interesting. Yeah, it's a pretty big room as you can see from this perspective. And again, just take one more look at this propeller and I think we're going to wrap this one up. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for this Explorer. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this one with me. I really enjoyed bringing this one to you. Like I said earlier in the video, I was here a week ago with somebody else and I was really left with a cool impression about this place and I just thought I had to show it to you guys, especially because of the propeller downstairs. That thing is just really cool and I think that made the video worth doing on its own. I hope you guys agree with me and if you do, please make sure you hit that like button and of course leave a comment after the episode. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers as the next goal for the channel. I need all of your help to get there. So if you have not hit that button, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and help this channel grow. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button there. Check out last week's video there. And check out the random video up there. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.